Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to be doing Fozzy. So I'm coming in with Wifey from Glitterbells and just creating the inside of his mouth. Doing it in like a triangly kind of shape, I would say. And then I'm coming in with dried fruit. Just creating his tongue using the end of my cuticle tool and just making that line in the middle of his tongue and then I'm double dipping with torp sand and citronella to give him an orangey brownie kind of fur so I'm just gonna do as I've done in all of the other Muppet videos and make his uh, by using a cocktail stick and jabbing the hell out of it. So then I'm going to come in and do his upper lip. And then the top of his head, just shaping it out. We are going to come back in and put even more acrylic on and then just jab it to make him look all furry. So I'm literally just coming in with top sand here. You can use citronella, but I thought, <coughs> sorry, my voice going. Thought I would uh, just do top sand. And obviously, once you've built up his top lip, come in and just build in the, his bottom lip so it will blend in nicely with the top, making him nice and furry. And the key is when you are jabbing the acrylic with your um, cocktail stick, keep jabbing until you can't, until the, that acrylic has hardened. Because I think a lot of people seem to jab it and then just leave it. But when you leave it, when it's not fully hardened, it, it will start to merge back together so you don't get that furry effect. So the key is just keep jabbing and jabbing until you can't get that cocktail stick in anymore so again I'm just coming in double dipping my bead so I'm picking up um top sand first and then going into the citronella because I want it to be more darker than orange so I'm just building up his head I have speeded this video up so you haven't got to sit here too long and watch it. But even though it speeds up, you can still get the concept of what I'm doing and how to do it. So, And then I'm just going to outline his body. You don't really need to <coughs> make this, um, this part thick because you are going to put his little ribbon that he wears around his neck so work nice and thin on his body to be fair you lose most of his body anyway so and then i'm coming in with pom pom again from glitter bells creating his nose flattening it out and just getting the shape and then i'm coming in with another bead Popping it on top, quite wet. And then I'm going to map out his eyes with snow white, snowdrops white. I don't know why I always say snow, uh, snow white, snowdrops white from Glitter Bells. Again, use one bead and get your shape. <clears throat> always dab your brush when you're coming in to do like eyes and noses just because if you put that bead on and your brush is dripping with monomer as soon as you pop it onto your character it's just going to bleed all inside that first so make sure you dab the <coughs> dab your brush on your tissue before you start so i'm coming in with hot chocolate around his eyes and i'm just going to create his eyelids 
and then using pom pom. It almost looks like because he's wearing a uh, the same makeup as Miss Piggy, to be honest. Yeah, she's building those eyelids up with some pom pom. And I thought his head needed to be a little bit bigger, so I'm just coming in again with some citronella and top sand. Could have probably got away with it, but he needed eyebrows. So, again using hot chocolate, coming in, building those little brows of his. And then, now that he's, his face is all in shape, you can pop his ears on. Just put in thin layers of top sand and then coming in with a mix of obviously top sand and citronella to make his um, fluffiness. And then I'm coming in with maple leaf to make his hat. I was running out of space here. But I still managed to get his hat in. And then using some carbon black, doing the little ribbony bit on his bow. And then coming in to do the little bottom part of his hat. Pattern and pressing it into shape. And then coming in with some <clears throat> what colour is it? Malibu. I'll put it in the description because I can't actually remember. <clears throat> Martini pink. That's the one. Right, so I'm using the the back of a the back paper of a, a nail form to create his bow. So I'm literally just doing the shapes as you can see with the bow part I'm coming in and I'm bending it over and then popping it on to make the one side the two end parts of the bows really slim so when you put it together it actually looks, looks like a nice little ribbony bow ribbony bow yeah I know what I mean And then the little trailer bits coming off his ribbon. So in my original design I did use acrylic paint to paint the spots but I thought I'd uh, give it a go and use some acrylic paint, uh, acrylic paint, acrylic to make the, the dots. I'm coming in here with um, some top gloss, not top gloss, oh I can't get my words out today. Black gloss from Clear Bells and then now I'm coming in with some little tiny beads of wifey to make his spots. Again, with the spots, you want to pick up your bead and drain your brush out before you touch the bow, ribbon, bow, either one, um, before you pop it on because you don't want that to, the red to bleed all over the white because then you're going to have like a, a pink bow. So, I think I preferred it using acrylic to paint in the spots on, to be fair. It's actually, well, I find it easier. Most might find it easier with gel polish or acrylic paint or whatever you're used to. 
So yeah, that's basically everything for Fuzzy. So I will uh, leave you here and see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.